right, welcome to another edition of Talk Story. Uh, here we got uh, Rainbow Baseball player uh, PK Akitamura. Uh, call him PK. PK, how are you doing? Doing good. You know, you've you've been through a lot. But you've you've seen all the action, having been a starter all four four your years. Um, you know, a couple of whack titles, regional appearance. Kind of briefly summarize your whole experience here playing. Uh, you know, at UH. Oh, it's been a, it's been great. It's been a learning experience. I've uh, you know I've grown up <clears throat> you know so much in, in these four years. Um, you know, I, I was lucky enough to go to a regional and, and, and be on some of the biggest stages, play at some of the you know most prestigious uh, college baseball fields. You know, in college baseball. So uh, you know, if it wasn't for Coach Trap and, and him giving me the opportunity, uh, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't have uh, grown as a player and as a person um, as much as I have in the four years. What about any like memorable experience? If you could, um, you know, think about maybe a few that really stick out in your mind. Definitely. Um, uh, it was probably my opening night. We were, we were playing Oregon State, and um, <clears throat> I, I got my first hit in that game. And, and I was on third base, and Kevin McDonald, who was a first baseman at the time, he hit a grand slam on opening night. We didn't end up winning the game, but um, you know, the sound of the crowd and and the feeling in that moment was, um, you know, was something I'll never forget. And and definitely the atmosphere in Arizona State, um, you know, going to that regional, playing against the number one team in the nation, getting to play against Calais and a couple other uh, local boys, that, that was something that uh, you know, I've always held pretty high in, in my college career. Now just, you know, taking a step back here, going back to your, your high school days, you know, your junior and senior year when you were obviously looking to play collegiately, um, you know, during that recruiting process, talk about um, you know some of the your options that you're looking at going to college and then how you ended up coming here to play for the baseball team here right. uh, well coach trap he he had offered me um you know pretty early uh in the beginning part of the summer and um, you know i had a couple showcases that uh, you know i was gonna attend and, and some schools showed some interest but nobody had offered so um you know by the time you know the fall came around and, and coach trap was checking in and he, he was real consistent and we had a good relationship by then um, you know, I talked about it with my parents, and, and, and it just felt right. You know, they, they wanted me here. I had an opportunity to play right away, and I could play in front of my parents. They could come see me every weekend, and my family as well. So it, it was just the right fit, and it felt right at the time. It's been well documented. You know, your baseball is a big part of your family history, and you know. But one thing I've been wondering is that um, uh, your your father coached at Puno, correct? Right. And your grandfather played there. My, no, my grandfather played at St. Louis. Played at St. Louis, yeah. okay. <laughs> but you became a Kamehameha uh, warrior. Talk about yeah. that decision, you know, how, how it came about. Right. Uh, well, my, my brother, he went to Punahou, like majority of my family, my, both my parents went there. So he was there for uh, till second grade and he had gotten into Kamehameha and, um, you know, getting into the Kamehameha, it's something that not every, you know, young Hawaiian, you know, gets the opportunity to, to have and, um, you know, it, w it was pretty special to my family that my brother got in and it was something that you know I, I wanted to follow my brother's footsteps I wanted to experience uh, you know going to such a school and when I had the opportunity it was something I couldn't pass up. Oh, that's great um, you know I know you probably get this question a lot but you know what was it like to play against your father you know he's coaching on the other side of the dugout um, I know it's obviously not you're not playing against him but you know, what kind of interactions did the two of you have, you know, around yeah. that time when you're always kind of competing against each other? Well, it was it was even more special because at the time me and my brother were on the same team. He was a okay. senior, I was a freshman, and you know, however it worked out, we ended up in the state championship playing against our dad. And, um, you know, it was it was definitely, you know, we, we wanted to win. I know, I, I, I'm not, I know it was hard for him to coach against his sons. And, um, you know, he said that was, you know, the hardest game for him to coach, but, uh, you know, we're all we're a competitive family, and you know, at the end of the day, we're all pulling for each other. So, um, you know, baseballs baseballs baseball. So we kept it between the lines. But uh, once it was over, you know, I, he he felt uh, sorry for us a little bit. <laughs> felt sorry for you guys. Yeah, he he he, he, he was uh, sympathetic. You know, he did, he did. You know, it was hard. A bittersweet moment for him. You know, yeah, and what if he had gotten beaten? Was he felt? Oh, uh, he would have been a hundred percent supportive of us. <laughs> I know for me, just walking on the field, they'd be like 45 minutes before the game. You know, it's a, it's gonna be a 6, 6.30 uh, first pitch. The lights are there. You know, stands probably have almost a thousand people at that time, and that, that feels kind of special just walking on the field. And what's it like to play there? Uh, it's, it's really indescribable. You know, I try to, I try to let the younger guys or the new guys know. You know, kind of get them ready. But there's no way to, 
really get them ready for for an environment like uh, you know playing at the last you know it almost feels like you're on a stage and and, and you know the lights the way they are it, it really is like you're you know you're putting on a performance for thousands of people and um, you know I, I think Greg, Gar uh, Greg Garcia said it best you know he fielded his first ground ball and he, he could feel the ground shaking and you know he made the out and the place erupted and uh, you know I felt the same thing you know it, these, these fans are so uh, enthusiastic about it and you know they make it uh, you know, that much better of an experience to play for them. Yeah I know I talked to Matt Sisto you know former teammate of yours last year and, and you know he didn't get drafted I was his junior year and I remember quoting the paper uh, um, saying like, you know, hey, not a bad place to be, you know, I'm coming back from my senior year right. playing at UH, you know, so, I mean, was that a little bit the same with you? Yeah, uh, definitely, uh, you know, you know, if I had to choose anywhere to be, you know, it would definitely be coming back here, you know, playing in front of these fans is something that, uh, you know, I'm going to remember for the rest of my life, so, uh, you know, having another year, being able to come out every weekend and, and have the love and support from these fans, um, you know, uh, that's not something I can, you know, really be down about. Who would you like to thank right now? Right now, um, you know, first and foremost, my, my family. Um, you know, without them, I, I definitely wouldn't be here. Um, they've supported me every game. Um, you know, win or lose, they're there at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, after that, certainly certainly Coach Trapp. Um, he gave me the opportunity out of high school. You know, he saw something in me that, you know, others might not have. And, um, you know, he believed in me. He believed in me to put me in the starting role as a freshman. And, uh, you know, I want to say thank you to him. He knows, he knows how deeply thankful I am to him, uh, you know, him and his actions. And then, you know, lastly to, you know, the fans that have supported me and, and, and also been there through win, win and lose. And um, it certainly makes it a lot easier to go out and play uh, when you got fans that love you and are loyal to you. All right, PK. Thanks a lot and thank best you. of luck to you. Thank you.